Right up here, David. Good afternoon, miss. I'm not a miss. My apologies, madam. I'm not a- Where would you like to go? The king. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm one of those two. Well, who are you? I am David, son of Jeff. Whatever, I hear there's some guy that wants to fight Goliath. Go find him and bring him to me. I am he, your majesty. Bring me some potato chips. Really, sire? I think I can try to defeat Goliath. I will not allow a child to fight a man's battle. Security, get this kid out of my sight. And hurry up with those chips. No, wait! Let me fight! <laughs> Wow, that was dumb. Yeah, the king's right. Who do I think I am? I'm just a stupid shepherd. Where did I ever get the idea that I could defeat Goliath? Yeah, I guess that was a stupid idea. You can't defeat Goliath. I think maybe I need to find a different David. Yeah, I guess you're right. I should get home. Better go back to playing my dumb harp and tending those stupid sheep. See ya. Wow, this is gonna fail. What was I thinking? That David could never have beaten Goliath. There must be another one around here. Wait, maybe he knows it. Hey, David! David! What? I was wondering if you know any other shepherds named David. Uh, no. What? Back home, I know like infinity of Davids. You can't be THE David. If you had gone out there to fight Goliath, you would have turned out worse than this nasty old skeleton here. Who are you calling nasty? What the? Aren't you supposed to be dead? What do I look dead to you? Well... Well, never mind that. I've been listening to your little conversation and you got it all wrong. How do you figure? You're missing the whole idea of what's going on here. Rick, don't you remember from Sunday school? I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I and him, him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. What kind of nonsense? Uh, what does that mean? Dude, you're dumber than I thought you was. Don't you see? It wasn't David who beat Goliath. It was God. Huh? Dude, what is your problem? Are you like branded? You want to talk? Anyway, with God, nothing is impossible. If David were to go out there and fight Goliath with God on his side, he could destroy him. Are you serious? Dad, serious? What a loser. Wait, Rick. He's right. It's not me who can defeat Goliath. It's God. But seriously, David. You yourself admitted you're just a wimp. Rick, it doesn't matter. If you have God on your side, anything is possible. But... How else could I have beaten that lion and bear? That is a good point. Let's go back to the king. Oh, wait, wait a second. I doubt the king is going to want to see us again, considering the fact that he almost killed us. I can help you there, but not for free. Yes, madam. Oh, yeah. Should we destroy them? No, stand down. Well, why have you come back? I have come back, bearing gifts, your majesty. And now I know. God is going to help me to defeat Goliath. You have great nerve to show your face in this room again. A bravery that I could use on the battlefield, actually. But what makes you think that God will help you, a boy, defeat Goliath, a trained warrior? When I was a shepherd boy, tending my father's flock, and a lion or a bear came to take a sheep, I would, thanks to God, take the sheep and then kill the lion or bear. My God, who helped me defeat those animals, will help me kill this giant. Hmm, come with me. Oh, wait, uh, uh, this way. You must wear this to protect yourself. Get out of here, that's way too heavy. Hmm, okay. But look at this bad boy. It even has a voice-activated flamethrower. Watch. Computer, on. 
Burn! Oh, great. Well, David, what do you think? Uh, on second thought, no thanks. But you can't go before the Philistine unprotected. God will protect me. You will need a weapon. No way, sire. I can't use those. Well, what are you gonna use then? Well, I have my staff, and I can grab a few stones. Dude, are you serious? Dead serious. Well, okay, uh, may God protect you, David. I'm sure he will, sire. The sauce. Hmm, oh, this looks like a good one. Goliath, I have come to accept your challenge. <gasps> At last I... What the heck? Who are you? I am David, son of Jesse. I have come to fight you. Dude, I'm not a dog. Why do you have that puny stick in your hand? You fight against me using the sword and spear and javelin. But I fight against you in the name of the Lord God Almighty, whom you have defied. Today, he will hand you over to me, and I will defeat you! So you are going to try to fight me? Yes. <laughs> Come at me, bro! Dear Lord, please help me. Goliath. <laughs> Very nice. What the sauce? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, God. Rick? What? Rick? What? What is it? Rick, are you okay? What? What? Rick? What are you still doing here? The next meeting's about to start. Oh, I have to go. But thanks for the Sunday school lesson, Mr. Queen. It was the best I've ever had. Okay, there we go. Well, where do you want me to start? Not one that looked like that. What's wrong with its eyes? What do you mean, what's wrong with its eyes? You really aren't around from here, are you? What's wrong with its eyes? What do you mean, what's wrong with its eyes? You really aren't around... What what's do you... What's wrong... <laughs> okay, <laughs> God. What's wrong with its <laughs> eyes? Dude. No, no, in your hyphen. No, in my, in my voice, voice I can do it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is it recording? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I can. Right. Okay. Sure, whatever. Yeah. Is it going? Yeah. Oh, talking to each other with our, like, stuff. What are we going to say? Okay. Yeah. Are we going? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, are we going? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, no, actually, let's hear yours. I don't want to. <laughs> Dude, just try it. Can't do it. <laughs> French, okay. You, you men. But I don't know how to make a sheep toy. What do sheep sound like? Bah. <laughs> David. Bah. I already did it. Don't make me do it.